So cholesterol is a waxy substance that's made by the body, made primarily by the liver. It's necessary for normal body functions, it's necessary for your brain to work, necessary for certain hormones to be made, and actually to digest food. So your body is designed and equipped to make just the right amount of cholesterol. And where we usually run into trouble is with our diet. We're adding more cholesterol to it. So if we didn't eat any cholesterol, our bodies would still function normally. There are a lot of different reasons as to why someone's cholesterol may be elevated. First and foremost are genetics. So there are some conditions where a patient may not make the receptor to handle cholesterol, therefore their cholesterol will be high. In other situations, they make too much cholesterol. So no matter what they do with their diet and with their exercise, they're still going to have high cholesterol, and a lot of times we have to result to medications. Eating a diet high in saturated fat, high in trans fat, will definitely raise your cholesterol as well. So good cholesterol, the main one would be HDL. So HDL is high density lipoprotein. So when you think of high, you think you want it to be high. So you want HDL to be elevated. And the way that works is it's anti-atherogenic, meaning it's designed to try to help prevent the buildup of plaque in the arteries around your heart. And then also to try to prevent platelets from sticking together. On the other hand, you have your LDL, which is your low density lipoprotein, and you'd like that to be as low as possible because that does the exact opposite of the HDL. It increases your risk of those platelets from sticking together and damage to the walls of the arteries around the heart. And the way we get your HDL elevated would be to exercise, stop smoking, and eat whole grains. Your triglycerides, so that's the fat in your blood. That works kind of like the LDL as well, and that's going to increase your risk of blockages in the arteries around the heart. So that number we generally want less than 150. Your total cholesterol is made up of your LDL plus your HDL plus 20% of your triglycerides. If you have a total cholesterol of 300, then something in that mixture is elevated, and you should go to your doctor and get the breakdown of exactly what's going on. The good news to high cholesterol is that there are a lot of options to get you to go, either with dietary and lifestyle modifications or a number of different medications as well.